So today we are going to be, well, I'm going to be showing you my favorite game on Roblox so far. It's a, it's basically farming simulator put into Roblox. And I'm, I'm going to just show you some of the features that it has. So starting off, the first feature that we have is like actual physics and stuff. So like we can go harvest our corn or rice, whatever we have. Like you have the harvesters, trailers to pull it all, seeds to put in the tractor and the cedars. And then we'll go over to our uh, garage right over here. We have a plow and a cultivator. And basically you'll plow the field first and then you'll cultivate it and then you'll be able to seed. And then if you also want to, you can have cows and cocoa beans so that you can harvest the cocoa beans, put them in a factory, and you'll make chocolate milk, and it'll sell for a high price. So now that we have that harvested, we can pull out one of our trucks and fill the truck with whatever crop we have. In our case, it's rice. And you'll just hop into the harvester, or in other words, the combine. You'll stick out the arm, you'll line it up to the truck, and then it'll start filling it. And then what you can do with the truck is you can hop out of the harvester, get in the truck, and then you'll take it over to Farm Co, which is, it's right here, but you can spawn like anywhere around. But for my sake, I just spawned here because I'm in a private. And you'll see like these sell prices, it's basically stocks. And you'll sell it, but as you can see, rice isn't high right now, so I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit. But I'll show you like the plowing and the cultivating process in more sped up clips just so that you can see how it's done and how like satisfying it is but yeah I'll show you those clips now
Alright, so in this next part, I'm gonna be showing you like the different the three different like beginner tiers of your equipment and tractors and trailers. So this is the starter trailer, the plow, the cultivator, the seeder, and then this is the level one tractor. So these all go together. They can be pulled by larger things, but this can't pull anything larger. This is tier two, so a larger trailer the plow and it makes them grow faster same with the cultivator and then you got a larger seeder that can hold more seeds and then you got a bigger tractor to pull them off and then this is level three so you have a trailer i think it has 400 storage this is a two tile plow same with the cultivator and the seeder and then you have to pull it by using this or I don't know if there's another one but this is also a level 2 tractor you can it's a lot faster so you can get around quicker if you're like pulling things but I wouldn't recommend it with like uh, seeding because it does bug a lot and those are the, th the first three tiers I'm not gonna show off like tier 4 I can show tier 5 which I'll actually go do now. So I'll see you when I'm ready. Alright, so I've just laid out all of the tier 5 uh, equipment. So the first off is the plow. It'll plow three tiles, same with the cultivator and the seeder. And then the tractor costs 600,000. And it'll pull anything in the game except for level 4 plus trailers like the semi trailers which you need a semi truck for and sadly there is no uh, trailer past level 3 that the tractors can pull that are holding crops so you have to use a semi if you want to like, transport huge amounts of crop but I'll show you how to harvest the cocoa what machine you need and I'll show you what machine you need to cut some trees down so this machine right here, it is the only harvester that can't harvest any crops. They can only harvest the cocoa bean trees. And all you do to harvest is you just hop in the vehicle. And it is a two tile thing, but it hardly works. And then you just run over the cocoa beans and you'll see it'll fill up. And yeah, that's how you do cocoa beans. But we'll move on to the next thing. So I'll see you there. Okay, so we're going to knock a few things out this time. So, first of all, always have road or paths down because it'll increase the speed of your vehicle rather than on, like, the grass or dirt. And then next is storage and, like, storing things correctly. So, like, if I come in here, I'm going to have everything nice and easily accessible I got the things that I use the most up front, things I use less at the back. Then I have to fill this part up with like different types of tractors and stuff. And next part is having like easy access to trailers and small tractors for like. So I use these tractors for my cocoa beans. I'll just back it up and fill it up and they don't even need to move the tractor or anything. And then this one I'll use for like pulling boxes sometimes. We got the forklift over there. So we can easily just drive over there and pick them up. And then we have a milk truck always at the chocolate milk factory. And then inside of this garage we have the flatbed truck. And a pickup truck with a box trailer. Those are just easy access vehicles. But it's in the craftsman garage that I have most things. 
and I'll, I'll just show you. Like it's nicely packed and stuff. So we have first two tiers of equipment here. We have just three tiers of tractors right here. We have, this is what I was gonna show you guys. It, this is the log cutter for bigger trees. Uh, you'll just like go up to it and hit R and it'll cut the tree, then you'll put it in a log trailer. And then yeah. And then this is the trailer, a little pickup truck, carry the trailer. And then over here, there's gonna be three or four tractors in here. One pulling each thing, but I'm gonna have two seaters. And I recommend trying to light up your field because it's it it's so nice having a lit up field at night rather than having pitch black and you're trying to find the lines. And I guess we'll move on to animals next, so I'll see you when I'm ready. Okay, so up next on the things to do is animal farming. You can use, or you can do cows, sheep, or chickens. The chickens are good in the beginning for their eggs because they sell at 500 per box, which is more than, I think, the first five or four or five crops and you'll want that kind of money just flowing in constantly but i would recommend cows over the chickens because you can milk them and then you can turn their milk into chocolate milk and it's worth twenty-five thousand each and if you ask me it is well worth it but i'll just show you how to milk these things with the automatic barn and another thing is if you don't have an automatic barn, it's going to be annoying to milk cows constantly because it's just going to get like drop bottles and then you'll have to manually pick up and load those bottles into a liquid trailer. But as you'll see, you'll just like click on a single button. But if they're below 59% uh, or 60%, I wouldn't milk them because they're not too worth it but if they're above 90 you'll get that free range milk which is the top tier and uh, chocolate milk requires a regular milk but if you put in free range it'll give you two regulars instead but it's this game is fairly simple like you just milk these guys by just pressing a button and I would always recommend having their milk capacity at 300% whenever you go to milk them because they drop three bottles or they fill up three spaces in your tank. As you can see, I got a big old tank there. And it's just much easier, much cleaner. You don't have as much work to do. Every now and then you'll accidentally click on the spoiled one. That's why I just have this little tank right here to quickly go load them up and get them out of there. But now we're going to go on to the next thing, which is factories. I just have to load up my factory real quick, so I'll see you when I'm done. Alright, so we, were, we are in our animal food factory because we need to make more. I just filled this thing up with rice. And something you want to do is check whatever, like how much is required to make the stuff in the factories. So rice is the best one, making a box per 10. And there's 600 in here, so... We'll make 60. But different factories will require different things and different amounts. So the cake factory will, will require eggs and wheat. Chocolate milk will, will require cocoa and milk. The oven factory is used to bake the cakes and then you sell them after. And then the animal food factory, you obviously can just use wheat, corn, or rice. And then it'll turn it into the little boxes of animal food so that you don't need to keep buying them. And then you'll just go through, press these levers. All the factories are pretty much the same. There's just four levers. And then you can also um, put a trailer outside to collect it. But the sheer amount that I'm making, it's not gonna... There's no trailer big enough to hold it. But as you'll see... Now that we finish that, they'll just start popping down. 
and then they'll like form into towers and then you can just like knock it over so they'll like just spread it into a pile and then I'm pretty sure that's like most of the things I think we might have one or two more things to talk about and then that will conclude the video after that anyways I'll see you all on the next one alright so next thing we're gonna talk about is something that I probably should have talked about earlier but it's more of like an end game thing silos so you want these when you're in the end game to hold your crop because you're most likely gonna be selling like huge amounts of crop at once but if you don't have space for them, don't worry, because you can just buy, like, vehicles that'll hold it. You can, you can buy multiple vehicles, and it'll do the same thing. But this is just easier, so that you can put it away, and then grab another load. And then we'll also talk about, um... Uh, like, when you want to buy things. So in the beginning, you're, you're most likely going to sell your small garage which will give you like 300 bucks and then you'll like you'll buy more and more seed crates to eventually end up saving for better ones and then you'll save those for more and it's like rinse and repeat until you get to a certain point which is about soybeans or bamboo where you'll end up being able to sell enough to start buying factories and then you'll have to start that process over again unless you like get to double the amount of how many crates you want and then you'll be able to buy these and still have enough to buy your the same crates over and again and some of these things can get pretty pricey but what I would recommend getting is one warehouse one automatic wooden barn one craftsman garage minimum of one pavilion like metal one and then I would suggest also getting the wooden garage because it's nice and small it's got double doors so you can go out front or back and then the silo is optional I don't know if the craftsman barn is better same with the traditional one but I would get the automatic one so that you can just like chuck something underneath it that has a fuel thing and that's pretty much it I think that's gonna wrap up today's video the small shed isn't really worth getting I'm gonna be honest oh wait actually hold it it's not the end of the video we gotta talk about the rest of these things so you can buy houses but I would honestly wouldn't recommend buying it unless you have tons of space in the end Cause most of the time you're just gonna buy this one and this one is absolutely massive so it'll take up like a portion of your property you can see it's, it's massive wherever I put it it's almost as big as the warehouse but I wouldn't recommend getting the houses because they're useless you can't do anything inside them besides furniture them and then the animals you need chicken coops for the chickens otherwise they won't be able to lay eggs and you'll need to clean them regularly and same with buying the chicken feeders that's what you need tons of animal food for the fences, there's no difference between the type of fence, some of them will just make things look nicer. And you can't, per se, use a wooden fence, like make a little pen and then try and put a stone gate or a stone sliding gate. It has to be all the same material. And then moving on to the fields. Standard field is for crops, or soil is for trees and stuff. And furniture is pretty much useless. I mean, there's some like flexing things in here, like golden toilet. And that's pretty much it. And maybe like the Robux things. And then outdoor, use the double street lights to light up your fields and area. And then in the end, you could get a statue of yourself. Here, I'll buy. Where do we put this? I'll put it like. I don't know where it's going to be facing. Okay. There we go. I got a statue of myself. But yeah, that, that can be like end game. And then I've seen a lot of people buy the ranch sign and put it out front of their uh, big thing. And I may be wrong, 
but I'm pretty sure this can be used as a full functional um, trailer. But let's see. Disconnect this one, and we'll try to attach this one. Okay, no, it can't. But I'm pretty sure it can hold things like boxes in it, in case like you need it to hold something in it. You don't want to take up too much space. But other than those few things, there's not really many items in here that you want to use. Maybe you can use like the bushes to, I don't know, give your property some details. And then here's where the roads are. You'll most likely buy gravel roads because they look pretty nice. They don't look like shit. And yeah, and then land is what, how you buy like more property pretty much. And then the last three spots are Robux, but they're only 75 each. So I'm gonna end up buying those in the future. And then I'll expand my property, so on and so forth. But that's gonna conclude today's video. This is probably gonna be a long video. I apologize, I just wanted to show you all this game. Like show you the ropes of it. It's a fairly simple game, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.